Jerome Tang. He has gotten so much out of this team. Only two players remain from the team that he took over from last year. He got this job just about a year ago, and they have made huge strides. Jeffrey Clark, Jerry Pollard, K.B. Burdett, our officiating crew here today in second round action. Kansas State got the win over number 14 seed Montana State in the first round, 77 to 65. They shot 58 percent in that victory. Tomlin to jump it up with Sheedway and Kentucky controls the tip. We're underway. Kentucky got it done 61 53 over the 11 seed Providence in the first round. Dominated the glass. Reeves and he rims out. Sheeboy is there. He got blocked from behind by Tomlin. Scramble for it. We'll get a separate so far. Wallace Whoa. hits the deck. Sheeboy send it to Reeves. He's not shy. Missed it on a three ball. Rebound to <laughs> Sheeboy again. Get used to that. Rebound, Sheeboy. He did that the other game. The last game, I and he put up six rebounds in like three minutes, I think it was. Wallace, the penetration, the knock away by Tomlin. Kansas State looking to push with Desi Sill. Goes cross court. The jumper, Carter, no good. You like the pace so far? Yeah. <laughs> Fortunate sure play by play guy. <laughs> Toppin misses on a three ball. Look at Sheeble, he got his hands on that one all the way out 15 feet away. But Johnson guides it over to Carter and they get the land. Cam Carter, the sophomore from Donaldsville, Louisiana, gets the scoring started. Yeah, Kentucky, even after that made basket, looking to push the ball up. But pretty good transition to start there for Kansas State defensively. They out-rebounded Providence 48-31, to 31, including 11 offensive rebounds. Sheeway finishes at the rim. And he didn't have to put the ball on the floor. Close to a travel, but a quick get and go for him. Calipari says once in a while, the guy gets 25 rebounds. Please give him the ball once in a while. Johnson lines it up. Off the mark. And another rebound for Sheboy. The most rebounds in an NCAA tournament game since Phil Hubbard did it at Michigan. In 1977, he had 26. That's three now for Sheboy. Wallace, the freshman from Dallas, Texas. Star at Richardson High School. Turnover. Leak out. Johnson is going to challenge. Top in. Can't finish around the rim. Rebound right through the hands of Tomlin. And it goes the other way with Sheboy. He's one on three, so he waits for his teammates. Kansas State wanted to travel. Yep. So did their fans. Reeves dump it down low. Sheboy. Oh, that's a tough pass. Intercepted by Sills. The acceleration. Sills. Oh, watch out. Down hard. Foul called. Wallace was the one who really hit the deck. Toppin was trailing in that play also. You see the second guy in. He had it lined up for a block. And I don't think Wallace recognized that from behind. And a pretty good bump. He got the ball also. But both of them would have gotten a block on that except for the bump. So Wallace is called for the foul. Free throws here for Desi Sills. Transfer from Arkansas State. Before that, he was at Arkansas. Watch live men's games on your computer, phone, tablet, or streaming device with NCAA March Madness Live. Scan the QR code right now to download. Got a substitution here. Naquan Tomlin sits. David Gasson, who played well defensively the other night, also scored 10 points off the bench as Sills gets the bounce on the second attempt. Yeah, last six games or so, he's been averaging over double figures. He scores about nine, but it's closer to 12, 12 and a half over that period of time. 3-2 lead for Kansas State, the three seed here in the East. Sheboy gives it up, and Tuffin rocks the rim! And like the fact that they've got Shibwe involved offensively on the blocks and also having to make some passes in traffic just then. Nice dish. Toppin had big numbers in the win over Providence. Ball fake from Carter. He will line it up. Rims out on a banker. Rebounded by the freshman Livingston. Got away with a walk out there, too. A little shuffle of the feet before that shot. Right now it's Wallace matched up with Sills. The jumper doesn't go for Reeves. It's 0 of 3. Sheeboy, he is a machine. He is amazing. Look at this pass, though. 
Gasson, extra feed. Oh. And it won't go for Carter. He got right to the rim, but couldn't finish it. Wallace to pull up pop. No good. There she went. But this time, Gasson <laughs> grabs it. And it's going to be a foul called on Shibway. It's amazing how he gets his hand on the basketball. The length of his arms. And he finishes it off. Yeah, John Calipari took exception to this call on Shibway, who leads the nation in rebounding. He led the country in rebounding last year and was the national player of the year. It's funny sometimes watching his Kentucky teammates on the defensive glass. They don't even go after the ball as much. Noel overcooked it. It's rebounded by Reeves. Swing it. Wallace has been struggling with his three-point shooting. Reeves puts it on the deck. Banker doesn't go. Shibuya gets his hands on it. And a tie-up. So there has definitely been a philosophy here from Kansas State when that ball comes off the rim in the glass. You've got to get your hands around Shibuya. He is just unbelievable on the glass. Strong like an ox. And you don't have to watch much of Marquise Noel play to recognize that he has a game that was built on the playgrounds of New York City. And now he is just one win away of returning home to play in the Mecca, Madison Square Garden. Spoke to him about it yesterday. And it's been on his mind, guys, since the brackets were revealed. And adding to some of the drama here, he hasn't been home in three years. He told me he's just been committed to the game, wanted to stay on campus. But he's ready to go back and show what he's done. Yeah, he spent three years, Evan, at Little Rock, then the transfer to Kansas State. He was very high on the school hiring Jerome Tang, who came over from Baylor, longtime assistant to Scott True, part of the team that won the championship in 2021. And Tang said when he saw Noel coaching against him, he said, hey, that's an all-league guard. What I didn't realize until I was around him every day, he's an All-American. Tomlin rims out on a three ball. And he knows that the Garden is a great place to play basketball. You're lucky enough to get a chance to do it. 6-3 lead for Kentucky. Both teams are 0-4 from downtown. Kentucky playing in its 61st NCAA tournament. Short pop doesn't go for Toppin. And up high for the board is Desi Sills. And I like Toppin's activity this game in the last in terms of his offense. Noel, drive, kick to Johnson. A double dribble. And he'll take the double dribble rather than a charge. Best Coke ever? Only one way to find out. Take a taste. Just over five minutes elapsed in this first half. Kentucky hasn't been to the Final Four since 2015. Their last national title was 2012. There was angst in January as to whether or not this team yes. would even make the NCAA tournament. And now playing their best basketball at the right time. Five-second call against Toppin. That might have been for a, close to a three-week period of time. There was question marks. That is the fourth turnover for John Calipari's squad. They were ranked fourth in the preseason poll. Started the season eight and three, but then struggled in SEC play. Dropped out of the top 25. Back in the NCAA tournament and back in the win column. Keep the ball popping. Open look for Sills. Rebound. Livingston guides it over to Reeves. Saves it for Shibway, who's got strong <laughs> hands. Not taking that away from him like that. Offense hasn't gotten going for either side. 6-3 advantage here for Kentucky. Yeah, the pace is pretty good, but the scoring and shooting not great at all. Wallace loses his footing, and that's a travel. So another turnover. That's five now for Kentucky. All right, time right now for Aflac Trivia. Aflac. 1951 National Championship. Kentucky defeated Kansas State. 68 to 58. That's a newspaper, Jimmy. <laughs> you couldn't have been doing that game, could you? No. <laughs> Better chance you were. Change here with Egiola now in there. We're going to throw different bodies, as we know, at Shibwe. Underneath, nice finish by Sills. Consummate team player. 
three different programs in his career, and he's been productive each stop. Yeah, and the shooting before that was four for 19 collectively for these two teams. So fun to see the ball go in the basket. Livingston puts it on the deck. Spin move. Short on the pull-up. Sills took a pop. Trying to defend him. And trying to get some foot action. Keep your feet in front of Shibway as much as you can. Oh, Noel has got ridiculous vision, but even his teammate couldn't catch up to that one. Keontae Johnson. Turnover. Kansas State. Kentucky fans, please welcome into the contest number one, CJ Frederick. Got a good understanding. There was that backdoor cut. Johnson may have thought that was going to be a higher, yeah. maybe a possible lob opportunity. Didn't get his footwork down. Kansas State averages 14.3 turnovers per game. That's actually the third most of any team that made the NCAA tournament. But if you're Jerome Tang, you have to take the good with the bad Absolutely. when it comes to Noel. Yeah, Noel had five, I believe, in the, the first game. And that's the pace they play at when they're up, going up and down. C.J. Frederick is in. Calipari has urged him to shoot it. Wallace dumped down. Chibwe muscles it home and a foul. And it's going to work against Egiola. Yeah, and stating the obvious here, Ian, if, if you're going to do your work and you're as powerful as Shibwe, watch him. He's going to step across, and he holds his ground well. And as you touched on just a second ago, you can touch, you can smack the ball and try to get it out of his hands, but very infrequently does that happen. 16th player in NCAA tournament history with 25 rebounds or more. Eighth career game with 20 or more rebounds for Oscar Shibwe. Jerome Tang was asked about him. He said, hey, look, I'm familiar with him. I don't have to watch the film. I recruited him when I was at Baylor. I watched him at West Virginia. I know what he does, it's, and everybody knows what he does. Everybody knows what's go coming at you, and you just can't stop it. It's kind of like in baseball when you tell the hitter, I'm going to throw my fastball at you. Here it comes. See if you can hit it. The guy throws it right by you. They can't get him off the boards. First time today you've mentioned another sport, <laughs> Jimmy. I expect two other mentions, if possible. Other sports, soccer, hockey, whatever you want to do. We'll try to get a power play in later. Uh-oh. Johnson blocking foul. On top, and John Calipari was right next to the official Jerry Pollard as he blew the whistle. Look to see, does he have position, and who creates the contact? Very close to either guy creating that contact. I think that, I don't know, I, that's why I'm sitting over here. Could go either way. Yeah, it's Toppin who picks up his first. Not so sure he had total legal guarding position on that, though, and I think that's why the call. Nice cut. Get it inside. They lost Tomlin. He is a really intriguing prospect at 6'10", 2'10", junior with a 7'2 wingspan, an excellent feel. Could be an X factor here for the Wildcats of Kansas State. And a six for nine against Montana State. The guy they're looking for. He could shoot that little 15 to 18 foot jumper, too. Finish with 13 points in that victory over Montana State. Shot clock is down to 12. Wallace gathers. Toppin has been playing with confidence. Wallace may have to make it happen against the pesky defender, Noel. The jumper is good! He has not been able to buy a three-pointer. And with the shot clock winding down, your instincts just kick in. It's amazing, just amazing, when he looked at that clock just for a split second and got that off. Johnson swing for Noel, unlimited range, and that one is off the rim. Tomlin will take the three, air ball. Kentucky up 12-7. Kansas State is 0 of 7 from downtown. Maybe a little time for Johnson down the other end offensively for Kansas State. Wallace, kick, Reeves is open. Misses on a three ball. And the rebound controlled by Tomlin. Step in by Wallace. He'll take it himself. Good, and one. Jason Wallace, the freshman McDonald's All-American, will head to the free throw line. And a, a sneaky play in the backcourt, you read, and see what can come up. He gets the ball right there. Watch him look to the middle of the court. It was a quick glance, thinking he was going to lay that off, but then decided to finish it himself. Coach, when you see how this game's being played early on, what do you want your guys to do offensively? We want to get to the paint a lot more. We're settling for threes, right? We're not making the ball go side to side. I want—I don't mind shooting open shots, but I don't want to settle for a bunch of three-pointers. We can get those at any time. Coach, thanks. Thank you. And they shot a season-high 70% on two-point attempts in that victory over Montana State on Friday night. Last time they were in the second round was 2018. They beat 16 seed UMBC, who had just come off one of the greatest upsets in tournament history over Virginia. Matched this year by 
FDU knocking out Purdue in a 116 matchup. Probably not a bad time to see if they can get Johnson involved at the offensive end. He's guarded by Tobin. They are three out of five on two point attempts. 0 of seven from downtown. Masood drives it, spins. It's a tough delivery, and it's rebounded once again by Shibway. 11th all-time meeting. Kentucky is 9-1 against Kansas State. Wallace lets it fly. And the rebound taken off the floor by Keontae Johnson, so they did a good job boxing out Chibwe. Rim run. David Gasson fills the lane. Yeah, you're absolutely right on that last defensive effort. When that ball hits the floor, you are doing a very good job of blocking out. That's a tough assignment with Chibwe on the floor. C.J. Frederick. The transfer from Iowa gives it up. Toppin drives in. Off the backboard, it doesn't go. Into the hands of Noel. First team all Big 12, third team all American. High screen, Masu. Noel against Shibwe. No look, Gasson extra, Johnson, just short. Pretty passing, especially interior-wise. Shibwe put it down low. Gasson gets his hands on it, <laughs> and it's a tie-up. So possession arrow to Kentucky. They are trying to establish the philosophy that it's not going to come as easy for Shibwe. Yeah, and if you're Gasson on this play right here, you have it. There's a tie-up, and he's probably just saying to himself, somebody blow a whistle here. <laughs> get me out of this mix-up. Lance Ware into the game. Sheboy is going to get a breather at the 9.59 mark. Damian Collins is in as well. So it's not often you see them paired together. Usually one steps in for Sheboy. But John Calipari is going to go with both Ware and Collins on the floor at the same time here in the first half. Bounce it. Wallace, post up. Nice hands. Take away by Carter. They both hit the deck. Three bodies are there. And it's another jump ball, which means this time the possession arrow goes the other way in favor of Kansas State. Really good post-up defense right now. You're in a tough situation one-on-one. -on -one. You get that little strip about waist high. And then it's on the floor up for grabs. Our tournament summary, six players in double figures leading Xavier back to the Sweet 16. Kansas upset by Arkansas. Florida still remains the last back-to-back -back champion, 06 to 07, and the SEC is faring very well so far in the NCAA tournament. This is an SEC team, Kentucky leading a Big 12 team, Kansas State, 15-9 in the first half. I heard the Kentucky fans yelling a little bit because they had six guys on the floor just then to get somebody off. Is that not allowed? Well, I'm going to bring a hockey. Ah, I set you up! <laughs> Power play, I love it. Keontae Johnson. A tough pass, low. Tried to bounce it to Masood. It's a turnover. Johnson just can't get on track early on here. He will, though. Reeves takes a peek at the Kentucky bench. Gets the call from Calipari. Ware out front. It's one of the leaders of this team. Doesn't play a whole lot, but well-respected in the locker room. Reeves trying to shake off the defender. Shot clock is down to seven. Livingston trying to make it happen. The spin. The deuce. Pretty good understanding just then. A Livingston at 6-6 going against Noel at 5-8. You say to yourself in a hurry, shot clock's against me. I have a size advantage. I have to take a shot in that situation. Another McDonald's All-American streaky shooter averaging just over six points per game. Noel gives it up to Sills. Yep, he held that pivot foot. Diagonal. Johnson. Whoa. He loses his footing. Used to play in the SEC for Florida. Rejected, but it's going to count. Damian Collins was too late. It was on the way down. They very well got to the board, too. It was a quick block. He's slipping, sliding. He stays with this play. See if he gets it there. I'm not sure if it made the board. I don't think it did. But it did feel like it was on the way down as Collins got over just a little late. Deontay Johnson, one of the best players in the country, just under 18 points per game. Mm, I'm not sure I, on that one. I think that was still going up. Mm. I hate to disagree with you. Oh, no, you're allowed. <laughs> I'll put it in my final report, but <laughs> not a problem. Frederick, swing it for Reeves. Collins sets the screen. 
good job getting over the screens, but that is a mismatch down low if they want it. Livingston, tough shot, tried to follow it, couldn't squeeze it. Opportunity here for Kansas State pushing the pace. Oh, there's Collins. Oh, look at this wide open. So, oh, baby. He had tried to crank that one down. He's fouled in the act. He's going to shake it off and get it helped up by his teammates. Free throws coming up from Desi Sills, who has a 40-inch vertical. I'm not sure that one ever had a chance, but he is a lefty, though. And just give him the, credit. He lost, he lost it. the ball. Yep. But he is going to the line. Coach, when you look at the style and energy of this game so far, what's the right message for your team right well, now? The game is really physical, and if you're not ready for a rock fight, you can't win the game. Um, I'm telling them, they're grabbing arms, so you got to be strong with the ball. They will not call that. Be strong. I, what do you want me to do? And then the other thing offensively, I kind of like the pick and roll right now, but, you know, our movement and getting it into Oscar has been pretty effective. Coach, thanks. Says it all and a quick answers right there covered a lot of space. He probably wants to get the ball into Oscar as much as he possibly can because they tried that in the first three minutes or so. But hang on to the ball. I mean, it's is he criticizing the officials or just the way this is played. I don't know, but not to put words in his mouth, but he's right. Hang on to the ball because guys are going after it. Kentucky 12 of their 17 points have come in the paint. Reeves has missed from long range. He was hitting those shots two nights ago. Cal is a master at challenging his guys by picking out a certain thing here or there and, you know, challenging them to be more physical. Desi Sills, who went to the Elite Eight as a member of the Arkansas Razorbacks in 2021, cuts this Kentucky lead to four. There's full court action right here. Sills will dig in defensively. Wallace gets it across. He's now picked up by Tyke Green, a transfer from Stony Brook. Before that, he attended Manhattan. Sheboy is back in for the Wildcats of Kentucky. Wallace, pull up jump. Rebound Ware, knocks it over to Noel. See Noel really probing a little bit there, looking in the back. I guess somebody heard it. I guess it's Sills. It is. And Sills is limping noticeably towards the Kansas State bench. He's replaced by Cam Carter. So the athletic trainer for Kansas State, Luke Sauber, will take a look at Desi Sills. Looked like it's an issue on his side. They're manipulating that area. 17-13 Kentucky, 7.20 to go, first half. Noel, drive and kick. Johnson lines it up. Rebound, taken in by Tomlin. And he puts it home. That was against Sheboy. Well, I was going to say, look who's on his back that trip. He boxed him off the glass. Well done. And a finish. Kentucky up by two. Topping goes cross court. Frederick in a crowd. Sheboy battling. Johnson is strong, too. And a foul is called against Kansas State. Johnson with a soft shot. Comes off softly. One that you can rebound on the offensive side. Tomlin with the position on Sheway as we just touched on. Keontae Johnson picks up the foul. Desi Sills remains on the bench for Kansas State. Catch and fire. Sheway off. Tomlin couldn't grab it. Cam Carter does. He kept topping off the best offensive glass, though. Nice. Noel, drive and kick. Green will take it. Misses on a three ball. Sheway. Just grabs that ball in midair. That's Noel low at his finest there, creating shots for his teammates. Eighth rebound for Shooter. Shooter. Frederick Bottoms. He's been struggling with a wrist problem. And hasn't been shooting as well. Obviously, he's a great shooter. Turning the corner. Carter lays it in. Beautiful acceleration by Cam Carter, the sophomore transfer from Mississippi State. Sills is now on the bike behind the Kansas State bench, trying to work through it. Remember, he had that hard fall on the dunk attempt. Here's Wallace. Kick it out for Toppin. The cutter. Livingston for the flush. Beautiful setup by Jacob Toppin. You may have noticed that Shibwe was moving away from the basket. He went up about 10 feet on the floor. Noel <laughs> hangs and hits. 
He put some extra English on it for the bucket. Well, he saw Shibway on the left side of the basket, so he's figuring, I have no shot if I stay left. Let me go right and see if I can finish one off. 5.25 to go in this first half, 22-19 Kentucky. Livingston off the rim. Rebound got poked out of bounds by Toppin. Watch for 34 in blue as he's covering the left side of the basket, and Noel reads that perfectly. And here comes Sills with that drive to the basket, loses the ball, and he takes a shot to the floor, to the side. You might be right, Ian, if they're working on his side a little bit. Looked like there was a collision, a touch. We approach five minutes to go in this first half. Kentucky leads Kansas State. 3-6 matchup in the East region, 22-19. Kentucky. Great, great matchup here with a terrific defender and a guy who knows how to direct traffic. Wow, wide open. Open look, Carter. Front rim, rebounded by Wallace. Oh, oh he just got kicked kick. in the head by his own teammate, Sheboy. Yep. We'll take a look. The officials will call that in a second. And Wallace still has not gotten off the ground. He went down, hit the deck. Yep. Fans, I think, are mistaken over what exactly took place. There was contact that let him down here, but the Watch. problem is Sheboy. Right. He got him. Right. Uh, it's right behind. It, yeah. We got shielded here by Carter. Go. Here we go. Right here. Boom. Oh. It was, yeah, it was a knee. knee. That's even worse. And Wallace heads to the Kentucky bench. Jeff Staten, the Wildcats athletic trainer, chatting with him. For the time being, that takes a very good, probably their best defender in the perimeter off the floor. And remember, their other point guard, Xavier Wheeler, yep. not playing, missing his 11th straight game. Had an ankle problem and a tailbone issue. That's the nice double out front. Reeves swing the top and shot clock at seven. Top and there's a wall there. The jumper doesn't go. Right back to him. And Toppin couldn't save it to his teammate unless it was tipped, and it was. Kentucky fortunate. The ball grazed Kansas State. CBS Tonight, don't miss a new episode of the hit show East New York, starring Amanda Warren, Jimmy Smiths, and Richard Kine. A new East New York returns tonight after a new equalizer on CBS. They'll go to the backcourt for Shibway. You don't want to foul him out there, that's for sure. Nice step in. Did he get it? He did. He a Noel. And call a timeout or no, no. tie-up. Noel was thinking. So possession arrow to Kentucky. You know, it's a tough inbounds set when you have to get the big guy getting the basketball in the back. And you may notice he, he tried. Noel, Noel pointed to the official, mm -hmm. but by pointing to the official, I think he came up short of having total possession there by himself. Give Kassan credit. He's definitely taken on the challenge of dealing with the physical nature of Oscar Shibwe. And he's not backed down. 419 mark of this first half. And giving up about 40 pounds to boot. And Casey Wallace is going to check back into the game. Well, that's a good sign. So this wasn't a shot clock issue because they got a reload here after the tie up. Reeves is blocked on the inside. Once again, the presence, big bodies there. They've got Tomlin, they've got Gasson. Gasson's got a seven foot wingspan. Tomlin is seven foot plus in that category. And half the battle is squeezing that floor, keeping them fairly close. Watch the lob, they've defended that well. They go way outside to Shibwe. And here's Wallace, one on one with the big Tomlin. Down low. Foul called. Keontae Johnson defending Oscar Sheboy. Second personal on Johnson. 3.56 to go in the first half. The Battle of the Wildcats. Right now, Kentucky's got the lead. 22-19. Our game summary, Kentucky 7 of 19 on two-point tries. Two of eight from three-point territory. Kansas State has yet to cash in 
on a three pointer as we check in with Evan. All right, Desi Sills currently in the locker room. As we saw, he left the game at the 17, 715 mark, but this was a few minutes prior, took a hard fall on his right side, and that was the area of concern. Did a number of exercises with the athletic training staff, manipulating that right hip, was in clear discomfort, noticeable limp, currently in the locker room. Once we get something official, we'll let you know. All right, Evan, great step in by Gasson to create a fast break opportunity. Kentucky gets back defensively, and a reach in foul is called. On the outside, it'll be Wallace picking up his second personal. And I, Jerome Tang, I think, is taking a chance right here. We're going to take a quick look at the reach in from behind. A little swipe right from behind there with Johnson on the floor. You know, this game is close enough where you might be able to take him to the bench. So, I mean, he's a, a veteran type player, so he understands the situation, but a little bit of a risk right there. Johnson is one of five from the field, just two points. Noel, one of three, two points. Noel averages just under 17 per game. Johnson at just under 18. Noel using the screen set by Gasson. He swings it. Wide open look. Johnson comes up short, rebounded by Reeves. Ahead for Toppin. Nice pass. Attack mode. Kick it out. Frederick. Short. Livingston clears. Reeves. Can't hit the rainbow three, and the rebound ripped down by Tomlin. Up ahead, Noel. Wow. Goes behind the back. Oh, oh Johnson! Razzle-dazzle for the jam! Making good decisions. And how about Noel on the break just then? Put one right on the money. 22-21, Kentucky. Entry. Knocked away, a turnover. Noel leading the break. Oh! Between the legs! <laughs> Johnson is fouled. <laughs> Globetrotters have broken out here. Here he comes through the legs, the setup. And this is a dandy also right behind the back. You know, sometimes that's called showing off, but right there, that was it. That was with a purpose. He understands the defenders coming at him. It's easier to go behind the back and direct it that way. So free throws here for Keontae Johnson. We have seen Marquise Noel skills in this first half as a gifted passer, creative in what he does. Noel has looked for any kind of input from smaller players. And one of those is Tyler Eulis, the former SEC player of the year, is now a grad assistant for Kentucky. He reached out to him via social media a few years back. Eulis got back to him. And they started going back and forth, explaining what your mentality has to be, how you have to approach yeah. things as a diminutive player in college basketball. I'm joking, but he might be regretting that this afternoon. <laughs> I'm not sure he knew exactly know. how it was going to turn out. Johnson still has to be careful here. I would attack him. Kansas State has taken the lead, 23-22. Kentucky has missed their last five shots. Let's see if they can get Livingston involved. Frederick swing over to Ware. Shot clock is down to five. Ware, loop it inside. Shebre in the crowd. Uh -oh. He can't finish, but a foul. Who, who's going to get this call against him? It is going to be against Marquise Noel, his first. You have a look here at this. Two guys coming in. Johnson's in there. Just a little too close for comfort. Shibwe is a 72% shooter. Seven points, eight rebounds here in the first half. Saturday, one game with a title up for grabs. NCAA Division II Men's Basketball Championship. That's Saturday, 3 Eastern, and it's right here on CBS. Desi Sills is back in the game. 226 mark. Shibwe doesn't get the roll on the second attempt. And Johnson in for the board. Kansas State 0 of 12 from beyond the arc. 9 of 13 on two-point attempts. Keep shooting the twos. 
<laughs> How's that for a breakdown? Excellent coaching. <laughs> Noel. Look at the handle. Oh, on he top. gets Reeves oh, the fold. Oh, Noel oh, extra. Oh, and the banker doesn't go tipping, does <laughs> Naquan Tomlin. I'm laughing because that's just sensational the way he can handle the basketball. Kansas State up by two. We are under two minutes to play in this first half. Reeves lobs it. Keep it on the outside. Reeves is 0 of 8 from the field. This is like a, a matchup because they're flattening it out. Reeves pull up. Doesn't go. Shibway. Offensive rebound. Put back. In and out. Rebound. Livingston. It's blocked on the inside by Tomlin. Out of bounds. Well, the first thing that's amazing on that set is the way Shibway goes up and gets rebounds with two hands. When he goes up, he really means it. A little floater here doesn't go. Well, you're right, Tomlin with the reaction very quickly to go up and prevent an easy bucket. And now Johnson will sit, protect him. Two fouls, 127 mark. He felt my nervousness possibly. <laughs> <Maybe>. <laughs> That's 10 offensive rebounds now for Kentucky. Nine rebounds overall for Shibway. And he makes that decision up two, by the way. So that's a terrific coaching. Shibway. Nice hands. Deflected into the hands of Noel. Oh, the field, the top oh. one misses on the Euro Jam. But a foul called underneath. Yeah. Coming up, AT&T at the half. Greg, Clark, Wally, Kenny, they'll break down our first half, bring you highlights from today's first round of 32 game. Pittsburgh and Xavier look ahead to our third game of the day, Michigan State and Marquette. Great matchups today. Second round concludes in the 2023 NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament. You know, it's interesting, too, Ian, about Noel. And we've seen him now a game and a half. He knows the personnel so well. Look who he's thrown it to. Generally speaking, you don't want to pass the basketball to a guy who's 6'10", that far away from the basket. You know, he's 12 feet or whatever. You want to get him a little closer, but he understands that he can handle it, dribble it, make something happen on the fly. Tomlin misses on a pair, a 75% shooter. Kentucky has gone almost five minutes without a field goal. They trail by two. Where? Post up. Shibway off the rim. Shibway another rebound. Oh, Shibway! That's a grown man's jam and a foul. It all starts with this beautiful wear pass away from the defender. He misses an easy one right there, but watch him take bodies. Anybody who wants to challenge him, he's going right through them. Up du and through. Double double, 10 points, 11 rebounds in the first half for Oscar Shibwe. This has been a competitive, energetic half. High school in Pennsylvania, started his career at West Virginia, comes to Kentucky, becomes the National Player of the Year, backs it up with big numbers in his senior season, 16 points, 13 and a half boards. Third time this season he's had a first half double-double. And Kentucky now in front by one. And Johnson back on the floor on the offensive side for Kansas State. I'm sure Jer Jerome Tang just said, hey, we're going to give you a, an offensive set right here. Don't make a mistake by driving on somebody if you don't have a clear path. Under a minute to play in this first half. Noel takes it himself. A little slot of hand for the creative Marquise Noel. 27-26. But now it's Johnson on the defensive end. Yeah, you got to be careful. And it's out of bounds. Tomlin took a pop from Collins, sure <laughs> who was trying to post up but couldn't get to the basketball. And Tomlin recoiled. Yeah, watch him right here. He's going to get it. I think it's kind of in, inadvertent right across the top of the numbers there. But now Kansas State gets two possessions with Johnson on the floor. And Jimmy Kentucky has turned it over 11 times in this first half. Not a bad guy to have directing traffic at about the seven second mark. We're down to eight seconds left. He's trying to get it out of his hands. They blitz him. Noel squeezes through the oh! front. Oh, no luck! <laughs> that was special! Naquan Tomlin hammers it home. Noel with the blind dish for the jam. Put 
put that on the highlight reel for that Kansas State. This is about as good as you can run it as the point guard. Look at him. He's looking across to the other side of the floor and decides. Watch his head goes this way. He looks away. And Tomlin just finishes it off with a crunch. 12-4 to end the half for Kansas State. We'll have more from Greensboro in a moment. To check out the Invesco QQQ first half stats with Kansas State in front 29 to 26. Zero three pointers made. All of their contributions are coming in the paint. I and Eagle Jim Spinarco, Levin Washburn, the rest of our CBS crew. Jimmy, has this played out the way that you thought it would between these two teams? Yeah, I thought there would be good pace to this yeah. game. The efficiency, the shooting, not as good, but I think there have been some spectacular plays in terms of making things happen, and we just saw some plays that going above the rim, which were great. And AT&T 5G takes us above the rim for some of the best plays of the day. Yeah, and with Chibwe, here's one I think if you just want to go for the ride, either you, get, either you jump on his back and go for the ride or you get away from him, and he just finishes it off. But, you know, they didn't have that many points, second-chance points, based on their 11 offensive rebounds, Kentucky, but they just have to shoot it better, and they're shooting 29% for the game. And the struggles of Antonio Reeves in particular. 0 of 9, including 0 of 5 from three-point territory. Kansas State with the basketball to start this second half. Crossover. Johnson inside. Great setup for the Naquan Tomlin finish. You know, we talked about Xavier in the first game, averaging 19 assists per game. This team here, Kansas State, they average, you know, almost 15, 17, I should say, with the assists. So they're very good. Push shot. Goes for Cason Wallace. Wallace came in averaging just under 11 and a half points per game. He's got eight points, four rebounds, and two assists for Kentucky. Three point lead for Kansas State. Yeah. Keep an eye on Sills, too, to see how he's doing. Banged up in that first half. Waiting for Johnson to get it going a bit. Switch. And Wallace, cookies, takes it away. Wallace swoops in for the banker and the foul. Case and Wallace feeling his presence on both ends of the floor. I just don't think that Johnson knows how good a defensive player Wallace is, and he just stripped him clean and then finishes it off in transition. Watch the body language here to cut across and then make sure he gets away from Carter on the back. Wallace's brother, Keaton, played at UT Arlington, playing in the G League right now. Wallace, a high-energy playmaker, tough, lightning-quick hands, as we've seen now on a few occasions. Texas Player of the Year in 2022 out of Richardson. Check in with Evan. For John Calipari, it's all about turnovers. 11 in the first half, and he reiterated a message that this is a physical game. They're grabbing. They've just got to be tougher with the ball, and his players echoed that statement in the tunnel, saying, if you don't want this to be our last game, take care of the ball. And for Jerome Tang, I asked him about Oscar Schwebe and what he should do. He said, he's going to get his. Everybody else can't beat us. A follow doesn't go for Livingston. A block from Tomlin, who gums Shibwe on the interior. Foul call. And he gets the block from behind right there. Livingston with the follow-up, but I think he gets pushed down below. I'm not sure who that was. Was that Carter again? Yes, number two on Carter. And it sends Chris Livingston, the freshman from Akron, Ohio, to the free throw line. Naquan Tomlin is leading the way for Kansas State with 10 points. He's got four blocks. David Gasson in. He replaces Carter. So they'll go a little bit bigger yep. on that front line with Tomlin and Gasson, along with Keontae Johnson. In and out for Livingston. Empty trip for Kentucky. Just under two minutes gone by in this second half. Nice look with the left, but Shibwe steps right across on him. He anticipated it for the steal. Livingston to the rim. Shibwe was just hanging around. And Noel didn't see him at all. Beautiful defensive effort. 33-31 Kentucky. 7-0 run for the Kentucky Wildcats. And Kentucky fans in this building also. Noel gives up his dribble. It's Johnson. They have to find a way to get him untracked. Behind the back. 
Johnson, shot clock at four, at three. Johnson got a bump, fade short, rebounded by Toppin. Excellent defense. Yeah, at 6 9, Toppin's given him his length, has given him Johnson some trouble. Floated inside, Shibwe finishes. He thought he was hit on the arm. Good timeout coming here. Nine nothing first for Kentucky. Well, here's the dump down, and look at the strength. Once again, just goes up, touches it off the glass for the finish. You know, Noel is very good at making passes with his left hand. I'm not sure how he missed Shibwe there, but you're going to see a little run out and a finish by Livingston to close that one out. And here's that defense on Johnson. Topping long at 6'9", forcing him just a little bit to lean away, enough to make that shot come up short. Out of the timeout. Back door. Noel, knock away by Shibwe. Turnover, Kansas State. Topping crossing over. And getting a little more rhythm, Kentucky in the offensive end of the floor because they're getting things to happen off their defense. Here's Toppin out front. Post-up opportunity. Oh, what a finish! Kaysen Wallace gets the bucket. Yeah, but if they're going to take that opportunity to go match up, Noel is down deep on the post-up. They're going to isolate him. It looks like they're going to continue to go to him as often as they can unless they make a change defensively. It's an 11-0 run for Kentucky. Wallace now with 13 points. Johnson is two of nine from the field, six points. Oh, good stop there by Sills. Sills is a lefty. Kick it out. Gasson step back. Can't hit the three. Kansas State has gone ice cold. They are now 0 of 13 from long range. Reeves missed it on the layup. Shibwe, the vacuum cleaner. 39-31. Sills gets to the cup. And a nifty finish with the offhand. Yeah, but here comes Kentucky. Don't take a breath because they're coming right at you. 39-33. Noel digging at the ball. Tie up or no, a foul. John Calipari is trying to Ooh. talk to the back official. It is going to be a foul called as Wallace just grabbed his ankle. I think there was a little bit of pushing on the way. So they called it on Sills. <laughs> Wallace out front, defended by the big Tomlin. Toppin, swing it inside. The catch, Shibwe fumbled it. Reach in foul. It's Gasson. I don't know if Shibwe ever had possession of that ball. That's the second foul on David Gasson, the transfer from Virginia Tech. Yeah, if you don't get a good shot, just make he just misses the layup, but Shibwe is there to clean up the mess. All right, Greg, thanks very much. That should be a fun one. This one has been entertaining. Kentucky leading Kansas State 39 to 33. We've had highlight plays. We've had guys hitting the deck, getting after it. Rebounding is now back in the forefront of the basketball culture because Oscar Shibwe does it as well as anybody in the nation. Wallace matched up on the outside with Masood. Uh, reach from behind. I think that's team number five on Kansas State already. It is Desi Sills who is helping out defensively. Best Coke ever? Only one way to find out. Take a taste. Kentucky has eight free throw attempts right now, Ian, with that number shaping up. They could keep pounding it inside and try to turn this into a free throw shooting contest for themselves. And they're doing this without Reeves making a shot. He's 0 of 10. Wallace gets out of trouble. Reeves knocked out of his hands and taken away by Masood. That was Tom Tomlin out front. Sills puts his head down, banks it Look high at this. off the window. It's good and one. Sometimes you get some activity where you force an effort, and I think that was a little bit of a force, but watch the way he challenges. He keeps going, 
And at that point, he had committed to taking a shot. Whether it goes or not, he gets the body action to get fouled. He creates it right there, and yeah, they'll take that friendly bounce or two. And the officials are heading to the monitor. Jeff Clark looking to see if there was a forearm thrown on that play. Foul was on Reeves. Here's, let's see, they're looking at. Yeah, Sills leaned in and made contact with Reeves, who took a shot That's to the him. mouth. I'm thinking basketball play on this one. He got it, the lefty brings it up, trying to get his shot off. KB Burdett is joining us over here. Basketball play, yep. to play on. He just yep. literally said the same things that you said, Jimmy. I think it's time to maybe make a career change. <laughs> to do what? Leave you? You just want me to leave you? <laughs> yeah, that's what they're saying. It's just a basketball play. His arms have to come up at some point to shoot the basketball. Unfortunately, the defender leans in. And contact is there. And I'm going to go work the concessions right now. Leave you be. <laughs> oh, you want a third job? <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> Reeves is going to sit. He's replaced by C.J. Frederick. And Sills at the line. Chance to convert on a three-point play and does. And Reeves 0 for 10. Jason Wallace has been outstanding. I mentioned his brother Keith. He played at Texas San Antonio. I want to give them their due now in the G League. A terrific player in his own right. Lobbit, catch made. Shibwe. He was dealing with two defenders. Yeah, good. Livingston lines it up. Short on a three ball. Shibwe couldn't grab it because there were hands up there yeah. knocking the ball away. People just really focused on his body, too, at the same time. Here we go. Oh, nope. I thought he was going to show Thomas. Tomlin, handoff. Noel. He sizes up Shibwe. Got him! <laughs> Three. I put that in a little showtime. They were 0 of 13 <laughs> from downtown before that corner pop from Marquise Noel. And that had a little loft on it too. Eight nothing run. We're tied at 39. Nice Wallace. jump. Yeah, that's a good jump there defensively. On the fend off now it's top and shot clock is down to seven. Tomlin comes out to defend him. Top and left hand. Oh, oh slam down. Chris Livingston gets upstairs. Sills is tripped going to the rim. I remember, Evan reported in the first half that Sills took that shot. I think he took shots to the left and right side. But watch the follow up here. It clears the basket. Livingston, nobody blocking him out. But Sills looks like he's okay, and we'll take another look at it. Look at the glass. Oof. Elbows up. And then you're going to drift back. Watch how high this shot has to go. Come on down. The flip by Sills. Rebounded by Shibwe. That's number 13 for Oscar Shibwe. Six on the offensive glass for him. Kentucky up by two. Remember Frederick on the floor right now. Good shooter. Once again, it's Toppin against Tomlin. Ten on the timer. Cross. Kick. Let's nice get it inside. Double team comes. Johnson's got the strength to take it away from Sheboy. Yeah, that was Johnson. Time that as well as you can from the weak side with the help. Noel, drive and kick. Masood, dish it inside for the finish by Tomlin. Noel sets the pace, passing the basketball around, but these guys really understand how to look for one another. 12 points, six rebounds for New York City native Naquan Tomlin. Winner here goes to New York and the Sweet 16 in the East region. Wallace gets to the cup. Case and Wallace playing under control and making things happen. Look upstairs. Caught by Tomlin. He can handle, he's a talented player, isn't he? There's Noel. Oh, nearly goes, and he's fouled in the act. It is number three on Jacob Toppin. So here's the action. He steps right in front. One of the tricks of basketball, right? You feel a guy from behind. You want to step in front of him. And Wallace going to that left hand, thinking he's going to be tracked on the right side. Well goes to the line. Pretty good free throw shooter, right? With 89% coming in. Marquise Noel. His brother Marcus had a relationship 
with Kyrie Irving and his family. So Marquis started getting pointers and notes conversations with Kyrie and you can see some of that from Marquise the sauce that he brings to his game <laughs> and he's just working on those skills over and over and over again those passes just don't come out of nowhere no no absolutely not the ball handling the shaking the going past people and like Kyrie Irving the same thing I is the understanding of when to shoot when to release the basketball when to how to play and seeing it before but, others may see it right absolutely and then you can shoot the free throws up oh, he misses the third one there just looking at some combined numbers Toppin and Reeves are a combined one of 16 two points yet Kentucky is tied with Kansas State here in the second half Frederick defense there from Gasson Livingston swing Nice double. Reeves runs into a wall. Livingston loses the ball. Out of bounds. We've seen two possessions, Ian, where the defense, the secondary defense, has been perfect for Kansas State. And you watch the switch here, right there. He steps across. You don't see it coming, especially when you spin. And they just close it up that side of the floor. That is 14 turnovers for a team that averages just under 12 per game. Noel, small versus big again. He went upstairs the last time on him. Sizing him up, looking for a runway. Noel against Shibway. Here we go. Jumper off the rim. Livingston is fouled after the rebound. So that's team foul number six against Kansas State. It's going to work against Gasson, his third. Great action in Greensboro. The winner advances to the Sweet 16 performance by the volunteers of course FDU and FAU tremendous story the way unlikeliest <laughs> matchup maybe in NCAA tournament history we're tied at 43 Wallace feeds down low and Masood was hanging on Shibway that's foul number seven Kansas State so at 1138 trying to get the ball as he positions himself here is just so strong to try to get around unless you really out you know use the footwork to beat him to a spot first foul on ish masood another new york city product along with marquise noel so both of them with a chance to go back home for the sweet 16. shibway misses at the line 72 percent shooter too he gets plenty of them Kansas State was picked to finish last in the Big 12 preseason poll. They finished 11 and 7 in the conference. And a tough schedule. Noel Banker doesn't go. Rebound is tracked down by Wallace. Fires up the floor. Corner pop. Reeves needs it. Missed it for three. Livingston an offensive rebound, but he's out of bounds. Had his hands on it too. Just couldn't bring it in. Chicago native Antonio Reeves is 0 of 11 from the field. That one went right off the foot of yep. Livingston. Wide open shot, too, in the left corner. Half court set here for Kansas State with Sills and Noel. Noel, zigzag move, gives it up. It's banger after banger for Marquise Noel. The finish by Keontae Johnson. And one of the reasons he's so good, and just one of the reasons, Ian, is the way he holds on to the ball until a guy gets to a spot where he can deliver it and his teammate can put it into the basket and deliver that part of the play. Kansas State up by two. Ten and a half remaining in regulation. Frederick for Reeves keeps on firing. That won't go. Rebounded by Sills. Here's Noel. The decisions he makes. The speed. Noel, it's a master class. Hard over height for Marquise Noel. So, I mean, you've heard me say, force a guy to his weak hand. You can't with this guy because he's just as good going both ways. You know, Kansas State with a little run of their own here. Noel showing his stuff in the first half in terms of the great decisions that he makes. He lures people to him. Goes over the top for a high three-pointer against Sheetway. 
just putting on a nice clinic in terms of how to run the point guard position. Evan? When you talk to Marquise Noel about that vision, guys, he told me he's obsessed with watching film. He picks up tendencies on the defense, but also, Jimmy, you mentioned this too, his own teammates. He knows where they like to get the ball on the floor. We talk about all those New York City yeah. guards. Rod Strickland is one that deserves a lot of love because so many of those New York guards look to him yeah. as inspiration for how to go out and get it done on the floor. Yeah, pretty good guy to emulate. Frederick out of the timeout. Looking for the high low to Sheepway that trip. Corner, Livingston. <laughs> Count it for three. Nice 11 decision. points now for the freshman. Good decision by Kentucky right there. They were looking high low by that. Get it to the free throw lane. Look over the top to Sheepway. Nothing there. Second option. Go to the corner. 47 46 Kansas State. Noel. No look. <laughs> Gasson. <laughs> Abracadabra once again from Marquise Noel. There's not a player in the country who wouldn't be a, would not want to be on his team. Unselfish and good. <laughs> and a legitimate floor general. Kansas <laughs> State up by three, a whistle. And it's going to work against Kansas State and Keontae Johnson. Just fill the middle of the floor if you're playing with them perfectly delivered Johnson get him involved a little bit too he's now three for ten and Gass Gassan with the foot right to the middle of the floor the foul was called to Naquan Tomlin on the interior and it's a one and one so Shibwe missed the front end last opportunity Eight fouls now on Kansas State. Three against Kentucky in the second half. Watch CBS Sports HQ for free. 24-7 coverage of the big dance, all the biggest moments in sports. Catch tournament highlights, picks, previews, recaps, and much more. Download the CBS Sports app to watch it today. Chibwe can cut it to one. 17 points, 14 rebounds for the senior Oscar Sheboy. Another thing about Noel, I am, does he ever look like he's tired? No. <laughs> look at him now. Noel, he takes Wallace to the outside. Off the double team, ball was tipped. Gasson with 10 to shoot. He might have carried that one just then. Swing it. Johnson drives in, tough angle. And it's knocked to the baseline, controlled by Frederick for Kentucky. They can regain the lead. Toppin, ball fake on a three. Yeah, good no shot just then by Toppin. You want to make sure you get a good look and a good shot right here. Eight and a half remaining, second half. A little post-up action if they can get it. Nice help defensively again. Back out for Toppin, shot clock at five. Toppin, left hand, wild attempt. And it's tracked down by Shibwe. Tomlin trying to get in there defensively. Wallace, push shot goes. Good push shot, good push pass to the middle of the floor just then to open up the opportunity going the other way. He is really polished. And he's given Kentucky a one-point lead. We've had eight ties, seven lead changes. Largest cushion was eight for Kentucky. Noel banks it in. He is a bucket. Fifty-one to fifty, Kansas State. Thirteen points, seven assists for Noel. Top and look to go high, low instead. Frederick way off on a three ball. Shibway got his leg caught underneath, and it was. Gasson, who took a shot to the head. Foul was called on the play on Gasson. Check out the rebound action here off the miss. It might have been that left elbow of Shibwe who got him. Gasson is up on his feet, walking to the bench. Fourth foul on Gasson. Timeout. Well, our game summary, one-point lead for Kansas State. Kentucky is...
down to 38% shooting. They haven't shot the three well, but Kansas State has actually been worse. One of 15 turnovers, a bunch of them for Kentucky. Points in the paint in favor of the Wildcats of Kansas State. Shibwe will head to the free throw line. The foul was called on Gasson for taking out Shibwe's legs from under him. And with those lack of three-point shooting numbers, anticipate a lot of post-up opportunities, but guys on the floor, if it's kicked back out to you after a double team, you still have to be ready to shoot the ball or put it on the floor for one dribble and a, and a mid-range shot. Kentucky 21 and 3 this season when allowing fewer than 75 points. So that number's looking really good right now for John Calipari's team. We're tied at 51. Pair of free throws for Shibwe. Kentucky leads by one. 19 points, 16 rebounds. And seven of nine from the free throw line. This matchup is going to be interesting as we go down. Toppin guarding Johnson. Whoa. Whoa. Collision there. So Toppin goes down, as does Noel. Johnson was trying to cut off that screen. And that's number four on Toppin. Yeah, watch. He's trying to go through there, and that screen is set. And Toppin doesn't see it quick enough. Toppin's done a terrific job defensively on Keontae Johnson. One of the top players in the nation has been held to 3 of 11 from the field, 8 points. Johnson hadn't played in a game in nearly two years after collapsing as a member of the Florida Gators in a game against Florida State. Heart inflammation, that was December the 12th, 2020. Noel denied by Chris Livingston. Never quit on the play. Came from behind, Noel thought he got beyond him. At 6-6, he caught up to him, and much more. 52-51, Kentucky. Reeves has taken the collar today. Two-man game with Shibwe. Reeves, is he hesitant? He is not. Can't hit the three. Oh, Shibwe! The rebound and the flush! Yeah, that shot was the equivalent of an air ball just then because it came off the offensive glass awkwardly and short and pop right off the rim, right to Shibwe. 21 points, 17 rebounds for Oscar Shibwe. The lead is three for Kentucky. For the tie, he's got it! No well! Unlimited range! I happened to look over at the Kentucky bench just then, and half the guys on the bench are shaking their heads like, that's not supposed to go in. 16 points, seven assists for the senior Marquise Noel. Wallace using the Shibwe screen. Reeves pops to the outside. He is 0 of 13 from the field. Nice Shibway point. seals it. Oh, the foul is called for a moment there. It looked like Tomlin got him clean. There was a delayed whistle and then the reaction. Third personal on Naquan Tomlin. And let's see, here he goes up. It's hard to see from that spot there, but sometimes you can look at a player who has been called for the foul and watch their body like, oh, that's a foul. He got him. That's a foul. Good call. If the whistle doesn't come right away, it builds <laughs> yeah, exactly. some of the anticipation. And then if you look at Tomlin in that example, he's like, I didn't foul anybody. <laughs> you think, okay, there's two out of three going against us. Shibway back to the free throw line, where he's seven of nine today. Kentucky up by one. I knew, know this was a two-shot foul, but that bonus situation played into this. Remember about the 11-minute mark? Jerome Tang's team got into trouble early in this second half with too many team fouls. Yeah, it's double bonus here now for Kentucky and for Kansas State. It's going to be a while, potentially. Only four team fouls against Kentucky. 56-54. A spot in the Sweet 16 at State. I think they want to get Johnson. There you go. There's a they do. Yep. That's perfectly executed on the pass from Masood. You have to get his head going down the stretch here. I am with five and a half left. Johnson has to be a factor with Noel. We're tied at 56. Wallace the drive. Scoops it home. He just continues to make Noel type decisions at his end. Both of these guys really playing terrific basketball. Wallace has 19. Kentucky leads by a deuce. High screen Tomlin. Noel uses it. 
The jumper off the rim, over the backboard, out of bounds. There's a slip cut. Johnson finishes it off. Where is a touch late getting there, and then underneath hand, quickest way to the basket to finish that off for Wallace. Both point guards making terrific decisions, and they're matched up against one another. It's even better when they're matched up. Lance Ware in the game for Kentucky. David Gasson returns for Kansas State. Little hedge out front. Swing it. Reeves drives. The stumble. Ware! It's waved off. A travel. There are a couple of stumbles on that play. It was going in the right direction. I love the fact that Reeves starts to think about going towards the basket because he's not been able to. He barely didn't walk on that one, and that's a good. The left foot. That was an extra step. 15 turnover for Kentucky. Four and a half to play in regulation. Don't forget about Sills getting active too. Johnson the drive. Juggle there by Noel. Shot clock is down to 10. He knows it. Back door. Johnson the catch release. Does it go? Shaveway clears it with his 18th rebound of the day. They were trying to get him more involved. That was definitely a two, two on two play on the left side of the floor for Johnson. Ware looks to the interior. Livingston protects it. Ware, this time he finishes. Four point lead for Kentucky. Well, 50 to play. Well, went for a steal in the middle of the floor, and that cost him with a disadvantage down on the blocks. Noel takes a peek. Gasson sets the screen. Noel, a three. On target! <laughs> Splash City! And some might say that's not really a great shot under those circumstances, but you forget how good he is. Look at Wallace coming right back. Stripped to the ball. Out of bounds off of Kentucky. Kansas State will have it with 3.20 on the clock. There's Ware finishing it off. And big time player, Noel, look at this. Come down sooner or later. Whew. Case and Wallace, 19 points, 8 of 10 from the field. Marquise Noel, 19 points and 7 assists. There is nowhere on the floor that Noel is not comfortable taking the jump shot. You think those two will be involved? Probably so, coming down the stretch. We approach three minutes to play. Kentucky up by one. Into the hands of Noel. Top and back on the floor, too. Noel lost it. Foul call. Well, that is team foul number five on Kentucky. And the third personal on the freshman Wallace. The beauty of being able to play most of the half without fouling. And they got him from behind. Everybody thinks they should be shooting. Or maybe they thought it was a two shot foul. And that's what the officials have determined. You never know if Noel shooting or passing in those situations. Well, he's so he's I'll use the word tricky. He's so tricky. Yeah, I'm, I uh, think there's a very good possibility. He was looking for Gasson on a drop. Yeah, oh, yeah, I think so, too, with an underhand, yes. an underhand foot pass. But it sends Noel to the free throw line where he shoots it at 88 percent. He can give Kansas State a one point lead. Yep. Doesn't look like he's ex extending the arm in an upward fashion right there towards the goal. 61-60, Kansas State. We are under three minutes to play. Our 10th lead change. Wallace, drive and kick. Livingston, off the rim. Snatched by Wallace on the putback. How about that taking advantage of the size down low with Wallace just then got himself underneath the basket 6-4 versus Noel's 5-8 clearly a winner there 21 points and nine rebounds for Case and Wallace Kentucky up by one. Oh, that's really deep Masood. Oh, Masood Connects for three you almost forget him on the floor, but he's a 40% three-point shooter and boy, did they use that at the right time. 
64-62, Kansas State, the 3-6 matchup in the East region. Kick it out, jumper, doesn't go for Livingston. Gasson just trying to get out of trouble, and he does. But may have hurt himself in the process. No, he just lost his shoe. It's four on five right now, and Gasson will join the party, except he's got a flat tire. <laughs> he sure does. He put some air in that one, because he still has it. Noel lines it up. Off the rim, and Gasson keeps it alive. With the flat tire, he knocked that one back. He still has not gotten his <laughs> foot into that sneaker properly. Not a whole lot he can do, just hang in there. We're down to 125 to play. Johnson. Oh, yeah! 67-62. Keonte pours it in from the outside. Reeves can't hit. Follow won't go. Livingston. Johnson's got the rebound for Kansas State. We are under a minute to play. I don't know what they need to jump. He's a tough guy to double. Here we go. Gasson, the catch, kick. And Noel will back it out. Cal wanted a foul before. And there it is. Yeah, they took 10-ish seconds off the clock just then. And, and who ends up getting to the free throw line? Guess who? Noel. Here's the one that shocked Kentucky and I think just about everybody in the building not expecting that. And this is a beauty. They got him involved a little earlier. Watch this step back. High Arker. Clutch shooting for Kansas State. Kansas State will have it on the side. Timeout taken by Jerome Tang. The sneaker situation <laughs> has been dealt with for David Gasson. 67-62. Kansas State in front with 44.5 left. Tension in Greensboro. Kansas State leads at 67 to 62. A 6-0 run for Kansas State to jump back in front and now a chance to add to it with 44.5 on the clock. They have to go to the fouling game, but what I would have told the officials is we're coming in looking for a possession tie-up. Gasson off the double to Keontae Johnson. They surround him. Uh, uh, timeout call. See, that was pretty smart. They had a little bit of time, Ian, and then they have the possession timeout. arrow. Go in and try to tie him up. Just don't go in and initially foul right off the bat. Final timeout. Kansas State is out of timeouts. 39.2 on the clock. They lead Kentucky 67 to 62. The next foul will put Kansas State at the free throw line for a one and one. That first pass too over there where the sideline was down low on the bounce. Dangerous. John Calipari's dad, Vince Calipari in attendance here in Greensboro. Keontae Johnson will toss it in. If you're Kentucky now, you are trying everything you can possibly do to keep this ball out of Noel's hands. Because he's a 90% free throw shooter. Right now the officials are just checking the clock when this timeout was called. Masood's a good free throw shooter, even though he hasn't taken a whole lot this year. They added three tenths of a second to the clock, so 39.5. Who wants the ball? Go get it. There you go. Trigger it in. Noel to the cup. He's fouled. On the floor, I believe. It is. Ooh, that was very, very close to an end one. So he will go to the free throw line for a one and one. And that's it for Jacob Toppin. And so he turns the corner. Look at the way he reads situations. I'm not so sure he got fouled. No. That's it for Toppin. Two points on one of seven from the field. So let's see. Here's the clean inbounds. He goes for the ball. I love the fact guys who want the ball go get oh. it. Uh, maybe down. Oh, chop, down. chop down. Looked like he came up with air on that first replay. Remember, great free throw shooter at the line. He is four of five today. The lead is six. And good free throw shooters do the same thing over and over and over again. Watch when he catches the basketball. It goes behind his back. There we go. One dribble. Routine based, and it Got works. It. This is the largest lead of the day for Kansas State. 35 seconds to go. 
Kentucky is down by seven. Wallace puts on the brakes. Cut by Shibway. The dunk and the timeout. It's a five-point game with 26.7 on the clock. They're trying to drive it towards the hole as quickly as they can. Quick points is what Kentucky needed. John Calipari's team is down 69-64 to Kansas State. Kentucky has one timeout remaining. Possession arrow does favor Kentucky if they can get a tie-up. Guys, the lineup here is like a football lineup. And they know, yep, that's a nice play. Trigger it in. He's not in a hurry. Noel is fouled with 23.7. You know what that does to you? I mean, when all the guys are set up, what you normally see kind of like a football play. Wide receivers are going out, they're cutting for the basketball. What did he do? He just stepped there and stayed still, and he caught the ball. It was really nothing tricky, but a very nice play. And a deeper issue now for Kentucky. Cason Wallace has fouled out, so he joins Jacob Toppin on the bench. He's hit the quota. Adu Fierro, who has not logged a minute of action here today will now check in 21 points nine rebounds for the freshman Cason Wallace Kansas State is trying to ice this one at the free throw line with Noel here we go again watch the routine nobody that they trust more barely hits gets it over the, the rim he barely beats the rim up there he's so smooth confident Single season assist record set this year by Noel for Kansas State. Top Steve Henson's mark from 87 88 for a three possession game. Gets the roll on the second attempt. Now you stay away if you're Kentucky. Or, excuse me, Kansas State. They got to go fast. The arrow, 18 seconds left. Gives it up. Reeves drives, contact, and a blocking foul. He will shoot free throws with 15 seconds to go. Pretty good thought defensively right there, but he's moving. And he's in the restricted area. And Gasson has fouled out. So he's replaced by Ish Masood. Gasson, he knew the challenge today in dealing with Oscar Shibwe. And Gasson was one of the bodies that they would throw at Shibwe. Winner here will play the winner of Michigan State Marquette in the Sweet 16. Another free throw here for Antonio Reeves, his first point of the day. Tough, tough day shooting the ball for 14 from the floor, 0 for 9 from the three-point line. Ware replaces Shibwe. 25 points, 18 rebounds. And a little faster lineup on the floor defensively. The transfer from Illinois State. Second one is good. 71, 66, 15 seconds to go. Kansas State has no timeouts left. Sills is fouled, 13.4 on the clock. And back to the free throw line, one and one, 19 foul. And you trade a 90% shooter in for a 76% shooter, so statistically that makes sense if you're Kentucky. 2018, these two teams met in the Sweet 16. Kansas State got the win 61 to 58, only to lose to Loyola Chicago in the Elite Eight. Sills confidently knocks down that free throw. 15 for 19 as a team. In the second half, 10 of 11. So you win games, free throws. He didn't back off the line. No. <laughs> Shibwe checks back in. You've got guys who can step to the line in situations like this. All the strategy goes out the window in terms of the fouling game. Only 13 seconds left. 73-66, Kansas State. Reeves lines up a triple. It's good. And Kentucky will take its final timeout with 6.3 on the clock. Wildcats against the Wildcats today. The SEC against the Big 12.
Kansas State, a team that very little was expected of this year. Only two players back from the roster that they had a year ago. Jerome Tang got the job on March 21st, 2022. He was asked about it. He said, yeah, the whole season has been a dream. From the moment I got the job, the way these guys embraced the staff and each other, he said, nobody wants this to end in our locker room. And they are 6.3 seconds away from keeping this alive. His wife, Ray, is there, his daughter, Aylin. And they have embraced Manhattan, Kansas. It's the longest 6.3 seconds of their life right now. Just waiting for this to end. Meanwhile, for John Calipari, you're just hoping for a mistake, basically, from Kansas State. That's what it'll take. And then a, a kick out for an easy bucket. Anywhere on the floor, they can get it if they can get the steal. Six point three to play. Kansas State with possession. Same play that they ran right here, Ian, and they came twice to this side. Now Kentucky is way up because they know the catch and foul has to occur. They get it in. Noel. Did they tie him up or no? They called the foul. John Calipari wanted a jump ball, tie up, didn't get it. 3.9 on the clock. And it's Noel heading to the line to try to end it. Well, they had the possession. They just can't get to the ball. That's the problem. It's the double bonus, so Noel will get two free throws with 3.9 to play. <laughs> 26 points, nine assists. Marquise Noel. Tack on another. Livingston gets it in. Fourth the arrow. Puts it up. And it's over. Kansas State came out of nowhere this season. And now it's on to the Sweet 16. The team from Manhattan will play in Manhattan. The Wildcats of Kansas State advance. Coming up, Michigan State, Marquette for Jim Spinark, 11 Washburn, the rest of our crew, Ian Eagle saying so long from Greensboro. We'll send you to our studio after these messages as the madness continues.